EngageBay lets you create and embed two types of form into your website, inline forms and pop-up forms. Inline forms. EngageBay inline form is a lead capturing form that you can embed to a certain page on your website. It will appear like a part of the page. You can modify the form to suit your website theme. And if you don't have a website, you can host the inline form. You can share the permanent URL of the form. Let's create an inline form now. In the marketing module, go to Forms and select Inline Forms. In the upper right corner, click Create Inline Form. Start by adding a name to your form on the top left. Click on it and enter the form name and click on Submit button. Once done, you can either choose from a predefined style for your form or create a custom one. Now, let's select a predefined one. Next, enter text and adjust the basic settings of your form under the Change Text subtab. In the left panel, add the form title, form description, and footer of the form and other settings. You can preview your form on the right. Click on Look and Feel tab to make changes to form font size and color, background color, button background, and text color. Click on the Field tab to customize existing fields and add more fields if needed. You can also change the Submit button text here. In the Settings tab, you will find three subtabs in the left panel. Main Settings You can set the success message once visitors have filled up the form. You can even set a redirect URL for every subscriber on the form. You can also enable the email notification for the form submission and select the users to get the form submission email notification. Select the from email that you want to use to send the form notifications from. You can also enable reCAPTCHA provided you have set up the integration with reCAPTCHA under account settings integrations. You can also select the option to add country name as tag and Add city name as tag. Double opt-in email. A double opt-in email allows you to send an email to your new subscriber to confirm the email address. The new subscriber follows the link in the email or replies to the message. Autoresponder. Send an autoresponder email once a visitor fills up the form. Once you are done with all the configurations, hit the Save button on the top right. It will generate an embed code that you can use to add the form to your website. You can even email the code to your website developer. To access the code, click on the Publish tab and you will find two options. 1. Quick Share, which gives you the form URL. 2. Code which shows the embed code and source code of the form. Or. To get the embed code by clicking the three dots on the right side of the listed forms and choosing the code option. It will also show the permanent link of the form where it is hosted and can be accessed directly online. Pop-up forms A pop-up form is a type of form that pops up on your website based on the preset conditions. It allows you to capture leads based on their behavioral patterns. For instance, you can pop up a form if a user has browsed a web page for a certain amount of time. Or, you can pop up a form when a user tries to exit the page. Let's create a pop up form now. In the marketing dashboard, click on Forms and select Pop up Forms. In the upper right corner, click Create Pop up Form. Add a name for your form from the top left. Click on it and enter the name of the form and hit Submit. Once done, choose the style of the form and the position. There are four styles, Pop-up, Noti Bar, Bottom Left, and Bottom Right. Under the Call to Action tab, you can either enable or disable the Call to Action. You can even tweak around with the text on the form itself. Click on the Themes tab and choose from various available themes for your form. Let's choose a Predefined theme now. Go to Design tab and click on Look and Feel tab to make changes to form font size and color, background color, button background, and text color. 
Now, click on the Field tab to modify the existing fields or add new fields. In the Settings tab, you will find five subtabs in the left panel. Main Settings it allows you to set conditions and display options for your form. You can add the conditions under the in group or group accordingly. The display options are Exit intent Scroll percentage Delay in seconds And none You can enable and disable the pop-up visibility. You can also enable reCAPTCHA, provided you have set up the integration with reCAPTCHA under Account Settings Integrations. You can also select the option to Add Country Name as Tag and Add City Name as Tag. Double Opt-in Email A double opt-in email allows you to send an email to your new subscriber to confirm the email address. The new subscriber follows the link in the email or replies to the message. Thank you, set the success message once visitors have filled up the form. You can even set a redirect URL for every subscriber on the form. You can also enable the email notification for the form submission and select the users to get the form submission email notification. Select the form email that you want to use to send the form notifications from. Autoresponder, send an autoresponder email once a visitor fills up the form. Contacts, it shows the list of users that have subscribers to the form that you had published.